Lipo burnout. Hey, what's going on guys? Well, we got like 900 feet of snow out there today, so there's no possibility of ripping my RCs out there without shoveling and I don't really want to shovel right now, so I decided I was going to take this old RC here I got. It's from uh, 1983 and uh, I'm going to ram this two cell lipo in it. <coughs> I figure that uh, the C batteries that it runs on, it's got two run on this side, two run on that side, so they're running parallel and then they're linked in series so you got 4.8 volts is what they're actually running at. So they're pretty, pretty slow with these. These are uh, just alkaline non-rechargeables. I got uh, some nickel metal rechargeables I put in. Uh, they got a higher burst rating. They work a little better. They're 5,000 milliamps. They, uh, they work all right. But I'm still I'm gonna put this lipo in. So I, uh, I've messed around with them before. And this, this buggy will accept, well, a two cell. I'm not gonna do anything higher than that. I wouldn't put a three cell to it. That'll just fry everything unless you're gonna run a resistor and drop the voltage to it but two cell will run this thing just fine it's, this one's just a 20c 4000 milliamp 7.4 two cell reaction battery all right so this buggy like I said it's uh, it's from 1983 it doesn't have shocks anymore it did but uh, it was missing a spring so I just put screws in to make up so it doesn't go in anymore but whatever, they probably didn't work too well to start with. No shocks in the back, but it does have a posi, so that's cool. This buggy has, uh, I got the top off right now so I can show you where I run that wire to, but it's got a selector here in the bed for high, low, and medium. I was surprised it actually had a medium gear in there, and that gear works pretty good. So the unit has, uh, the truck has, uh, lights all the way through. I put uh, lights out of a Christmas tree, like the stringer that runs around. Uh, little bulbs are like little pointy ones. Two in the front, two in the rear. They're all uh, wired up there so you can see. They both turn on, forward or reverse, doesn't matter. They all turn on. That's the way I wired it in. Um, but unfortunately I broke a bulb here a few minutes ago, so only one headlight works. Yeah, this, this is uh, made by Nico. It's the off-road special Tiger. Not the off-road Tiger, which is the one of the trucks they used to make. This is the off-road special Tiger. It was sold by Radio Shack in 1983, and I think I said that. A little charge port on the back that's never going to be used again. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw the nickel metal C batteries. They go in the bottom here. I'll throw them in, I'll show you uh, the normal speed of the truck, I guess. And then I'll put the lipo pack in and we'll show you how much more speed it gets. These uh, AAAs here, they run on, uh, they still run the steering servo and power the truck up. And then that lipo pack's wired in through the motherboard and runs just the motor. So, bonus on that. So I gotta leave these in to run the actual truck itself. But they don't hinder the speed of the truck, so. And uh, so I just drilled a hole in the bed of the truck, this antenna whip here. I just drilled a hole in the bed of the truck, ran a wire through, got a Tamiya plug on. Run the uh, wire through and where the battery tray hooks up to the motherboard, I just simply ran positive to the positive, negative to the negative, and uh, up here to my uh, little connector. And then when I run, when I use this pack, I do not run the C batteries, only the double A's. This powers the motor instead of the C batteries. So, let's put the screws back in this thing and put some C batteries in it and do a quick whip and then uh, I'll show you the lipo run. Uh, just before we do that though, this is the remote, the old iPoke antenna. It is run on uh, AM Hertz. This one is uh, 27.045. This is the same remote that runs my uh, Radio Shack Super 4x4. I love this truck. It's got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive options, but not about this truck right now. 
Other than that, it's the same remote, just they run on different bandwidths. That little crystal that plugs in, y'all know that. Takes six AA batteries. <laughs> That's pretty much the weight of the controller is the batteries, so they're pretty uh they're decent for what it is, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to drop this thing. The remote, alright, this thing is digital proportion, so you give it a little bit of gas, you get a little bit of you go, it's not just full on, full off, same digital steering. And uh, I thought that was actually pretty cool. It's got two uh, trim adjusts on the steering, one on your throttle there. Uh, these are the uh, nickel metals that I was uh, telling you guys about. Uh, these are uh, EBL batteries. They're uh, pretty good. I did have uh, energizers with the first batteries I picked up at Walmart and used those there. Uh, 2,500 milliamps. They work pretty good, but uh, I found these on eBay. They're 5,000 milliamps. Uh, made by EBL, they got some good weight to them. Um, they work pretty decent for just running them in the truck instead of uh, crappy alkaline batteries. They've got a higher burst rating on the battery than I have no idea even what those are. They have no information on them, but these are uh, a, a 20C burst rating, and so they they do pretty good in the truck. So let's throw these in and uh, show you that, and then we'll hop up to a lipo pack. Right. Like I said, I got I got a headlight out, but it's just got uh, tail lights too. All right, these are the nickel metal batteries. Turn this rig on. There's a low gear. All right, don't mind the bumpiness. Just got a few flat spots in the tires. It's from sitting around from 1983. So yeah, low is slow. Medium. Also shitty. And now it's high gear and super slow. Super slow as an acceleration. All right, seen enough of that. Let's put in the light bulb back. So no batteries in the bottom except the double A's that run the um, steering servo. <laughs> There's my uh, little connector plug from uh, to me at a Traxxas reaction battery with the Traxxas plug on. So let's plug her in and go. Right. A Velcro strap just to hold the battery on. Right. Battery pack in there. This the wire's just wrapped around. It's a little long. All right, let's turn it on. That's uh, a little bit more power. That's high gear. All right. Now when you run in the lipo though, obviously this truck from 1983 does not have a lipo cutoff. So I have my little LiPo alarm here, and basically you just plug it into the uh, balance wires. Come on. And uh, it will show you the voltage of each cell, and you can set an alarm. So let's set it to 3.7. So when either one cell hits 3.7 volts, this little guy will just scream at me and uh, lets me know to stop playing with the truck so I don't damage my batteries. You can just tuck that in somewhere and have at her. Yeah, it's driving itself. my friends is the power of lipo
pizza cut those tires off. We got Bridgestones. Oh, rim burnout. That's awesome. Let's switch it into medium to start. Oh yeah. Let's try high gear. Oh, it actually slid right there. High gear doing that. Wouldn't even go close to that before. Hey, the headlight turned on after I hit that. Oh, it just turned off. Ah, well. Alright, then here's low gear. I don't know, this thing works pretty good, uh, I'm happy with it. Since I can't go outside and use the other ones, this will uh, pass me half an hour or so until I get bored of it.